ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾಬನ ಮನೋಹ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ್ಯಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂಧು ಬವಚ ಪತಿನ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲ ಪಂಗು ಲಂಘಯತಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಂಗ ವಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿಂ ಸ್ವರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುಧೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಭರಣ್ಯ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವವಿರಿಂಚಿನು ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತ್ತಿಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲುಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಿಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಪವಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾಖ್ಯಕರೋಷಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಅದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಅದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾವದಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಶುತಾಕ್ಷ ವೀಶಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜವರು ಜುಗಧಾರ್ಮಪಾರೋ ವಂದೇಯಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭಾರೋ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇಣ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷೀತ ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀತ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 
राम राम हरे हरे तर्क अपतिष्ठ सुत यो विभिन्न नासुर मुनिर्जस्व मतम नभिन्यम धर्मस्व तत्व निहित गुहायम महाजनो जेनो गतु सपंथ्या तर्क अपतिष्ठ श्रुत यो विभिन्न नासो मुनिर्जस्व मतम नभिन्यम धर्मस्व तत्व निहित गुहायम महाजनो जेनो गतु सपंथ्या गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट बाय तर्क पंथा दैट एब्सोल्यूट ट्रुथ इट इज गेटिंग वैंक्विस्ट गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट दैट बाय फॉलोइंग तर्क पंथा that uh, topmost absolute truth is getting vanquished from our from us by taking the pathway of tarkapantha with the a tarkapanthi person we don't need to discuss anything regarding uh, shastra vichar and bhakti that pariprashna is a different thing and tark is a different thing altogether tark in argument that challenging mood is there in tark argument and Pariprasna means it's for ex- absolute mangal of a pointed jiva, and in the Gita uh, Shastra also it is written regarding this that those who are tattvadarshi uh, mahajans. those who are tatta shri kupyor guru vaishnav avar pranipad paripasna that pari par pranipad means with the prakeshta roop when we are 100% shanagat on to lotus feet of pure guru vaishnav that is par pranipad means that 100% shanagat on to the lotus feet of tatva guru vaish tatva with pure guru vaishnav that is called pranipad praniprashna after that that bhajan procedure that kind of uh, how to start bhajan that actually comes and after that that inside that person that kind of seva bhav is there that person that is actually in front of tatvavid purush slowly steadily just by hearing tatvagyan slowly slowly steadily his he will get divyagyan inside his heart permanently only by tark pantha logical uh, arguments that uh, absolute truth is getting vanquished from our heights and guru vishnu will also not come in front of us when they are they are actually seeing that uh, they are actually he is this person has just coming in front of us just to do logical arguments then they are actually start uh, stop speaking anything yesterday actually i was speaking on this point that shrimad bhagavad ji gita shrimad bhagavad gita and bhagwan swayam actually speaking in front of arjun and speaking all kinds of tatva gyan in front of arjun that in order to get realization topmost realization of this tatva gyan shrimad bhagwat ji mahapuran shrimad bhagwat ji mahapuran shrimad bhagwat ji mahapuran inside that that kind of the uh, gita's all kind of uh, realization practical realization you can get regarding gita what is written there in gita mahajan mahajan on to the lotus feet of mahajan sharanapati is the topmost thing if sharanapati is not at all there then then in any how our bhajan will not be possible we will not get any kind of uh, uh, promotion in our bhajan karmakand and karma yog what kind of difference is there in between karmakand and karma yog that externally it is it looks that all the same we cannot understand it at all karma karmo vikarmeti bedo bado no lokika In Shrimad Bhagavad Gita, Mahapurana also it is written. That in Navyogendra Sampad, it's already written there. This pravachan already there. Karma, akarma, vikarma. These all three kind of difference in between that. 
पर्सन नॉर्मल पर्सन डोंट नो अबाउट दैट कर्म कर्म और विकर्म दैट वेद विहित कर्म दैट वेद विहित अरेंजमेंट व्हाट इट इज देयर दैट डेफिनेटली टू डू दैट इज कॉल्ड कर्म व्हाट इज देयर रिटन इन द शास्त्र द इन द वेदास व्हाट काइंड ऑफ एक्टिविटीज व्हिच वी नीड टू परफॉर्म दैट इज कॉल्ड कर्म इफ यू विल नॉट एट ऑल डू दैट देन दैट इज कॉल्ड विकर्म and it is not to do those is called akarma and to do opposite kind of karm apart from that opposite that is called vikarma so in bhagwaji mahapuran this is written karma akarma vikarme ti ved vad no lokika ar vedasya ch iswaratmak tat tatra mujhanti surayo surayo bolne se just by speaking surayo means Surya means that all those devagan, all those demigods. But here, Surya means just by speaking this word, Surya. Just by speaking this word, Surya. This all, all those Rishi Muni, etc. They are those who are trikal darshi in nature. It is actually they are applied there. These here, these people also they by doing the vichar. there are some kind of uh, doubts and suspicion comes that what is dharma and what is adharma what how what to do and what not to do all these things and all these which are this uh, is all the time there in this material world going on but uh, bhagavad dharma vichar that only and only that mahajans means that यमराज जी महाराज इज स्पीकिंग दैट यू सी वी आर एक्चुअली कमिंग इन द कैटेगरी ऑफ ट्वेल्व द्वादश महाजन दैट भगवत तत्ववित्ता आई एम एंड दो एंड वी आर of these twelve dwadash mahajans we are agnos the actual bhagavat tatva vigyan and it is actually top most pure khuyo means that it is very secret of all the secret and it's a very secret tatva and a top most pure tatva that's why it is written you see all these three these are actually the um upadhi it is very much secret very that apart from that nothing can be there apart from that more topmost that is the most topmost thing you can get in your life and the rarest of rarest turbodhyam by in, in those who are materially bonded jivas it is not all possible for possible for them to get this at all turbodhyam means that whatever kind of vidya vakta you are having in you but still in order to understand that it is very much uh, impossible in a proper speaking that by only guru seva by sadguru seva only just be uh, just by sadguru seva with a very with a very sharnagat mood that kind of deep realization what he will get that you can get that only but for other bonded souls it is not at all possible to get that realization why because bhagavad dharma what it is that ishwar atmatva means that he is swayam bhagwan krishna that bhagavad dharma is swayam bhagwan krishna only oneness with krishna that is one with krishna that's why ishwar atmatva tatra mohanti surayo mohanti matlab mohanti means that uska andar mein inside him different different kinds of vichar are coming that uh, doubts and suspicions are coming inside his heart and to get the actual solution is very much difficult and this uh, shrimad bhagwat ji mahapuran shrimad gita ji that shrimad bhagwat gita in that krishna actually is speaking the pravachan of krishna what is speaking to arjun this arjun it is getting uh, uh, realized by arjun first that bhagwan is actually speaking is putting arjun in this situation and has uh, 
Arjun is not a normal person. He is actually eternal parshad of Bhagwan. But still, but when Bhagwan just got manifested in his manifested leela, Bhagwan has just put Krishna, put Arjun in this condition. Whether Arjun is Khatriya or Vaishya or whether Arjun is Brahman, no. Arjun, if he is Khatriya, then definitely he is Khatriya externally. But on the platform of that. Krishna has just uh, put him on that platform, on the platform of Khatriya. That Bhagavad Parshad about him, that Brahman, Vaishya, Shudra, this kind of uh, Upadhi is not at all there at all for him. This vichar cannot come and cannot stand in the way of those pure Guru Vaishnav. Kaurang Mahaprabhu already swam speaking this point. This which I already told by Mahaprabhu. Brahman, Khatriya, Shudra, Vaishya, all they are actually, these are all actually material which are on material platform. And if we are actually still questioning like that, that Arjun is Khatriya, that inside Arjun there is some kind of faults and suspicions in Arjun, that Arjun is in Agyan. No, not at all. This situation Krishna has just arranged for Arjun. Like the case in front of us, if one question comes in front of us, and after that, the actual answer of that question, that uh, like Parikshit Maharaj, Parikshit Maharaj is actually Mahabhagwat. But still, Parikshit Maharaj ji, now actually again questioning Sukhdev Goswami, then our all different kind of Bhagavatam we got the chance to hear from the Lotus Motto Sukhdev Goswami part. Parikshit Maharaj has the actual questions of Parikshit Maharaj. These are actually all international questions, all applied for each and every jiva. It is all applied for every jiva. Such kind of questions should be there for each and every jivatma from them. If this kind of atma jigyasa, tattva jigyasa is not at all coming, self realization question, then up till that point, atma mangal, that pathway is very far away. If you want to go to Gokul, then it's very, very difficult. Vaikunt is uh, still far away. You can't go there as well. So whatever be the case, this already told. And Chakravarti Pad, Vishuna Chakravarti Pad, in this vichar he has written, Karmo Khalu Sastro Vihita Charanam in the Vedas, in the Shastras, that Achar, what is written, definitely to do that is called karma. And a karma, what... And not to do what is written in the Shastra, it is called a karma. And to, no, and to do opposite of what is written in the Shastras, it is called vikarma. I have already told you that. So whatever be the case. The Vedas, uh, the actual division of Vedas is so much rare, so big and rare it is the division of Vedas that karma tat is so much deep that in this to get uh, to get uh, uh, attached to that is uh, natural that the actual gati of the karma it is very much deep you can't understand that and for each and every karma, for each and every karma, uh, different different kind of reaction has. Every action has equal and opposite. So every karma has a reaction, respective reaction. So much deep the actual uh, uh, speed of karma that uh, karma of one bonded jiva from where he can stand. It is a very topmost uh, deep thinking point which we need to think of. Definitely, that our karma, respective karma, that kind of fruits we definitely gonna get in this life according to our previous karma. That may be good or bad fruits, you will get the karma of that. We definitely have to face that. Nobody will face that, your brother, father, mother, sister, nobody will face at all those fruits of your karma, what you have done previously and now. Shilanarotam Thakurji has just written now regarding this that you see karma kanda gyan kanda this this is just one kind of jar of material 
poison those who are just taking it as a nectar definitely they will be going to infinity species of life they will be going into infinity species of life and birth after birth they have to just to go into the cycle of birth and that in different species kadar means that with very bad thing means it doesn't mean that just need to take uh, food it's not like that he has to get into very bad species species of life it's which is very dirty and those who are actually taking that narottam thakur ji actually want to speak here that that bhakshan doesn't mean that not definitely to take something but it's not that food but bhakshan means narottam das thakur speaking here this word this is not a normal meaning what he is actually indicating narottam das thakur this is not a normal indication given by narottam das thakur why because that kadar jo bhakshan kare means that narottam das thakur speaking that all different different by our different material sense organs that according to our uh, all the vishay bhog we are actually getting into sensual enjoyments that our eyes also having that prasadam like ajamil has done with his eyes he has just seen one pros and very bad just like the acharan of vaishya openly he has seen that and in that he can't uh, resist himself at all and he got the asatsang there a satsang in any any how you don't need to take that out at all a satsang why because the the actual fruit of one a satsang what can be there it's already that which are is there in infinity shastras that by your eyes what you are actually seeing and different different things you are thing, seeing and by your, your ears you are just hearing about different material bonded uh, theories you are hearing all different different kind of material things you are hearing and by her different material sense or where he has to take the bhagavat prasad slowly steadily slowly steadily that knowingly or unknowingly where he has gone he don't know at all one uh, sloping pathway is there the bhajan the actual pathway of bhajan is such is like a sloping it's a sloping pathway of it. and it is so much uh, so much uh, high altitude is there where you have to go if some person can go there and some time it will be time consuming and again he's just fallen down then slowly steadily that slopey pathway he will go down and down and where he will come and he want to go up and still he will put his eye up oh maharaj i was there so much up and now where i was down now so like this you can compare yourself means it is just a sloping pathway bhakti pathway so much uh, that how much degradation we are getting by our uh, actual satsang we cannot understand that at all why because when we are coming down when we are seeing up are oh maharaj where we were uh, where we have already went yesterday i have told you about shobri rishi shobri rishi up till what point 60000 years he was doing tapasya and slowly steadily he got degraded from his bhajan and he had just come to such a situation he started crying that maharaj that 60000 years i have done bhajan and now i i everything is just got over for me that is so much effect of my eyes there that uh, geeta श्री गीता जी द एक्चुअल भावार्थ एक्चुअल मीनिंग इट इज़ वेरी मच इम्पॉसिबल टू गेट द एक्चुअल मीनिंग सो दिस इज द एक्चुअल क्रिप ऑफ माया दिवी शी विल नॉट एट ऑल गिव अस दैट अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द एक्चुअल वर्ड ऑफ द गीता सो इफ वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड बाय गेट द एक्चुअल मीनिंग ऑफ गीता रहस्य वॉट्स रिटर्न देयर दैन इट इज कॉल्ड एवर ग्रीन ह्यूमन साइंस दैट द नित्य जगत दिस काइंड ऑफ टॉप मोस्ट the evergreen human science it's already there inside that everything no uh, fault is there in that gahan matlab par gambhi gahan mean very very deep very deep thinking deep siddhant vichar which is very critical in nature that karm is like that so much deep from where to there that jivatma will go no actually place is there at all the by the actual effect of karma this same jeev just by taking the linga sharir 
fine form he is going from one uh, species to another species he is transferring there that is the actual speed of karma karan sharir he is taking in fine form his body is getting transformed from one body to another that same karma that jivatma he is getting the linga sharir and he is the actual fruit of the karma with the linga sharir slowly steadily he is going to the other species of life with that and again by taking birth again and again actually he is doing all the activities and again plus minus his fruits of the karma he is getting and this is called in the vedas abhut plus and minus so the previous janma what he has done and plus in this uh, whatever residue of the karma good or bad deeds what he will get that plus minus what he will get he that the fruits he will get in this birth you it will bow you are bound to uh, get those fruits and you will be bound to get the other birth in the other species because without gross body that in order to get the karma for you definitely have to come on this material planet the bhagwan in gita already told this point but if he can go up till that point then it's okay no but it's very difficult to go up till that point so in shrimad ji bhagwat ji mahapuran also it is written in the vedas different different kinds of vichar it's already there that you have to do this you have to do that you will get that in this this all kind of vichar different vichar are there in the vedas but that in the vachan of agrihotra in maj bhagwat ji mahapuran parokshavad this word we are getting parokshavad means indirectly and what's written in geeta krishna actually speaking that paroksha is he is not taking the support of paroksha directly he is speaking krishna bhagwan krishna is no bhagwan uh, likes parokshavad it is very much uh, liked by krishna parokshavad what you are speaking indirectly परोक्षवत बालानम अनुशासनम कर्म मोक्षायु कर्म को दैट कर्म कर्म का जो रिजल्ट द रिजल्ट ऑफ द कर्म इन ऑर्डर टू गेट डिटैच फ्रॉम दैट जस्ट टू थ्रो दैट अवे बाय कटिंग दैट कर्म फल द इन द वेदास दैट परोक्षवाद यू हैव टू डू दिस यू हैव टू डू दैट व्हाट इज रिटन देयर दैट लाइक अ चाइल्ड लाइक अ चाइल्ड ही डोंट वांट टू टेक medicine and maya mother just by giving him uh, 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 greediness towards some kind of uh, eating he is actually trying to give medicine to the child the child that is to give uh, to give harm to the boy is not the actual behavior of mother but her child should get treated and the disease what he she is got he is getting it should get treated in in order to just remove that that prescription what is there of the according to the prescription medicine should be given to that child so that disease should be get completely uh, treated that the child she is actually uh, putting her on to the right track and the actual medicine the kind of uh, uh, efforts what she is putting that is actually written in the veda similarly like that lot of things are there written in the vedas you haven't got any kind of child definitely you will get child if you do this you do this then you will give lot, lot big big prescriptions are there in geeta all which are is there in geeta already and that ved vihit sandhya bandhan etc these are actually called nitya karma but our parma on the way of our parmartha ras it is already eternally present that's why in geeta sometimes this karma there's in prescription of the karma is already there it is of three types nitya namitik and kaam bhedit karma three times nitya karma sandhya bandhan etc namitik karma that's shraddha etc what you are doing it comes in that category and kama karma means by which that we are getting the fruits of our desires that we bonded we were getting that karma but that these all three different things are having difference in that but still nitya karma is definitely is there namatik karma karma is also there in this material world but kama karma is that very dangerous in this material life kama karma that is very much dangerous 
the speed of this karm is so much deep so much deep that's why it is already written like that that it will gonna take you from where to where you will stand they you can just uh, fall down also and it, it can take you up so what kind of karm is like that according to that person will get his degradation or promotion that according to his own karm phal he can go to heaven heaven okay heaven is not our target it is not a place but still it is already written there that according to his karm phal he has went to heaven he just went to heaven by his karm phal and whatever kind of good deeds that deposit is there of its good deeds he is getting the fruits of that that depreciation slowly steadily is getting down and lot of money is there in your uh, he is going to the hotel this that all money has gone and when money is gone then everything is gone <laughs> so in the heaven also this kind of thing is there if is uh, all good deeds what he is performed whatever fruits he is getting out of that if it is uh, deteriorated is depreciated it's already then he just need to kick off from heaven and he will fall down on this devidam again by taking a material body so all those material people if you will be uh, telling them this point he will not at all understand this point at all those material people the top most dangerous point for a material bonded jiva is this only that for a material bonded jiva you cannot uh, whatever uh, way she is there when sanyas ways acharya is acharya ways whatever way she is the prala prabhupad actually speaking openly that's for all those material bonded jivas that kind of uh, shastragya that kind of discussion of shastras if you will do then definitely you will uh, be finding degradation of your bhakti in your life what kind of practical realization you will get definitely it will go down and down in your life and it will go up till zero okay it will go towards minus not zero it will go negatively proper speaking that uh, with a materially bonded jiva if whatever kind of shastragya you are discussion whatever way she is sanyas ways acharya ways whatever kind of way she is putting proper speaking that i will definitely show you tomorrow practically don't challenge me i will show you practically here it is written like this that if a material bonded jeeva if you are just uh, discussing shastra then definitely you gonna fall down you get can degrade degrade your bhakti means it is not at all the actual degradation of money it is nothing like that but the actual consciousness level it with your consciousness will not at all get matured and degradation of your consciousness will come at to zero level and can get negative also bhagavad gita mahapurana it is written that uh, just to give advice to people it is not at all required at all whatever kind of bhog vilas so much vyasan is there inside him that automatically he is going towards that for this there is no kind of apeksha written in the shastra he just need to do like that it's going all all like that only in a in a cyclic order so from the previous sanskar what he is having according to that previous sanskar the child slowly steadily is getting grown up and again slowly steadily by growing up he is getting uh, young and definitely he will get naturally attracted towards uh, towards a girl it's not written in the book that he will get attracted to a girl automatically he will get attracted to a, a male and female concert of her or his so here no kind of um, uh, effort is uh, put on a male or female person that he should get attracted towards his opposite sex so this is the thing so that's why lot of vichar if you make that shrimad bhagavad ji mahapuran shrimad bhagavad gita the actual instructions of shrimad shrimad bhagavad gita we have to take that in our life very carefully mahaprabhu ji in chaitanya charitamrit already written about mahaprabhu already told कर्म त्याग एंड कर्म निंदा बोथ ऑफ देम इट स्ट्रिक्टली प्रोहिबिटेड कर्म त्याग देर इज नो अधिकार दैट यू कैन जस्ट लीव कर्म हाउ यू विल बिकम लाइक मायावादी एंड यू विल जस्ट लीव कर्म 
then why you are actually because eating is also karma sleeping is also karma bathing is also karma so you are actually leaving karma you don't have this kind of eligibility to uh, when your uh, body is getting uh, moving just for maintaining that you just can't throw that but on a special path you just need to divert it towards a special direction that is called karma on gita is also just uh, speaking about that only kar that the ninda of karma and just the uh, the leaving karma it is strictly prohibited and from karma just to get prem bhakti maybe in krishna that kind of prem bhakti it is uh, possible to get prem bhakti also for krishna in gita from uh, second day we will be discussing it shortly there actually it is written all these shlokas were written here there yes. that it is decorated lucrative offers so lucrative offers actually is decorated that very nicely it is decorated karma that one by one very which is looks like very tasteful this shlok we will be discussing it later they are actually called nitya karma but uh, in our actual spiritual pathway that is actually eternally present but here sometimes that we have to be careful that this kind of karma in this already it is written in the vedas that it is called of three times three types nitya namitik nitya karma sandhya bandhan etc namitik karma that shraddh etc that is comes in the category of namitik and kamya karma by which that uh, we can get the fruit of that that we want this kind of fruit out of that activity that is called kamya karma out of this three uh, difference is there but still nitya karma is okay whatever namati karma can also come when you are in this uh, material world but kamya karma is actually very much dangerous in our life kamya karma is very much dangerous that this kind of speed of karma it is very much deep that's why it is uh, told like this so that you can understand that from where to where you can go they it can you can go up also and you can come down also it cannot be said uh, totally that uh, by the fruits of your karma he you can go to heaven that uh, heaven that uh, this is not our place to stay but still it is written there in the shastras that he has just gone to heaven by these fruits and whatever pious activities deposit he has with him by that deposit of the pious activities and pious deeds uh, so slowly steadily when it is already got uh, down like uh, you have lot of money in your pocket then you are going to the hotel and the money is going down and down then if you don't have money they will kick you out of the hotel so similarly if you have that pious activities that kind of uh, fruitive activities or pious deeds you have done that whatever punya you have collected if it is going to get exhausted then then that jeevatma will get kicked out from the heaven automatically and down to the earth for a normal person if you will be just telling them he is not at all uh, ready to have this kind of uh, thing it is very much uh, difficult for a uh, material person to understand uh, and to just give him the actual instruction of the shastras whatever you are actually giving like prabhupada actually speaking openly this point that for a vishay material people that kind of uh, uh, discussion of the shastra if you are doing then you will be uh, there will be degradation of your own bhajan so much realization i have whatever realization you have got slowly steadily it will go down and it will come down to zero zero level zero is also good but it will go down uh, towards negative uh, direction prabhu was speaking that for a normal material person whatever kind of discussion you are put it in in whatever sanyas way sacharya way she is there prabhu was speaking that uh, i will definitely show you don't challenge me i will definitely show you this where actually prabhupad where actually is writing this that for a normal material person if you will be just discussing shastra then you will be just uh, de- there will be degradation of your own bhajan
it it is not the degradation of money fame fame it is very less but your actual consciousness will degrade and it will not get matured at all and there will be degradation totally it will come to zero level and it can go to negative level as well loke babaya mi samat seva nahi tatr loko chodana In Bhagwa Ji Maharaj, it is written already that you don't need to give any advice to the people. In that, that kind of enjoying mood or kamna vasna will so much that they are all the time openly they are speaking on their own. There is no waiting for this. That that in the shastra there is that you have to enjoy. It's not like that, but they are actually following that because they have enjoying what inside their heart. That according to your previous karma. and the previous uh, sanskar the child children becoming slowly and steadily growing up and slowly steadily by his growth he has just gone into his young stage and after attaining that young stage and he is getting asakti attraction towards a girl it is not at all written there anywhere in the books but it is an automatic process they are actually no one actually asking him and teaching him that he should get attracted to a girl automatically this is actually the children is running towards the girl this is an automatic attraction so that's why so lot of vichar by having this in shrimad bhagavad gita that kind of instruction of bhagavad gita you just need to take, take that with full careful uh, mood ma prabhu ji ma prabhu In Chaitanya Charitamrita, already it is written, Mahaprabhu actually speaking. Karma tyag and karma ninda. In both of them, it is strictly prohibited. Karma tyag means that kind of procedure. It's totally. Uh, you should reject like a mayavadi they are speaking that you have to reject karma <laughs> to to sleep also and to take bath and to sleep and to take prasadam is also karma so how you can reject karma so whenever your body is there automatically to maintain it you just need to do that and in order to just see the actual swarup of the karma and to divert it towards a positive direction that is the actual motive of gita what it's actually speaking definition of karma that is about the karma ninda and karma tyag both are actually strictly prohibited and with karma that prem bhakti that definitely you cannot get any prem bhakti by uh, by following this two procedures karma tyag and karma gita me in the gita also in the second day i will be just making again discussing it all these shlokas are already written there in this pushpita vacha me which is actually very lucrative or decorative offers the pushpita vacha means that it is full of pious deeds and good fruits in a slowly steadily in a rochak form very tasteful in the vedas it is written like that in this shloka i will be just discussing it later about this shloka and uh, by taking that vichar if someone he actually wants to go uh, maharaj actually is there written in the vedas like this only already that why what we have done wrong okay it is written that's why all the time it is written this shloka already written there in the vedas that is full thing which is very lucrative in nature for each and every person is running for that that topmost sadhu who is a fixed sadhu that for all things what is actually enjoyable for him that which is actually enjoyable for you which is very much uh, profitable for you and enjoyable for you for uh, that sadhus if they are having their uh, uh, their eyes on that then definitely he can see the actual result out of that what will be that in that the there is a difference in the darshan what a material person has is having and this association of sadhu and what kind of darshan a normal material man is having whatever he is seeing that he is actually seeing his profit and loss his account of profit and loss he is making in that so what will be the what will the profit what kind of enjoyment i can get but this kind of uh, vichar is not there with sadhus at all so that's why 
uh, in order to just put those uh, uh, sadhus in danger it is very much difficult because they don't have any kind of greed and lobe inside their heart maybe they can just you can just speak wrong about him but you cannot say that he is wrong at all because he don't have any kind of lobe or greed inside his heart that in our niti shastra also very nice it is written very very nice uh, we just need to remember that all the time what he can do kali what can do Jazz inside the heart, all kind of enjoyable. Jo, jo he wants to just do the mangal of the whole material world. He is all the time busy in making mangal of all the material persons. He is actually sadhu. All the time, he is actually busy in uh, busy in uh, thinking of Bhagwan all the time. But how we can just get the actual mangal of the whole material jivas? What he putting in bonded condition? That each and every word from out of his mouth, which is coming, which is all uh, truth, everything coming from his mouth is truth, and there is no wrong about it. If some foolish number one actually speaking in front of you, that uh, bhakti, bhakti, that Bharti Maharaj, uh, this uh, thing is actually not true. And if the other person is speaking, that Bharti Maharaj is not at all Swami, Goswami. The both are meaningless. Sadhu's pratishtha is uh, truthfulness. If someone actually with a hinsak mood, with a very jealous mood, he is speaking that whatever he is speaking, Bharti Maharaj is not at all, is not true, it's false. It's untruth, it's false. It can't be true at all. And just by speaking that, and he is not at all sadhu. This both things are actually big thing. Why? Because by that, some because sadhu is always speaking the truth and how if he is speaking false that how he can be sadhu sadhu is all the time speaking truth only the actual meaning of sadhu is that he is all the time going on to the way of that absolute truth who is going on the actual pathway of absolute truth he is actually sadhu so oh, by just the, taking the vichar all the time we just need to go further and further very slowly and carefully and a lot of people have lot of pandit in them but uh, Gita cannot cannot uh, uh, assume everyone as pandit like that like uh, Bhagavad Ji Mahapuran uh, uh, Krishna is speaking to Uddhav Ji Maharaj uh, Uddhav actually speaking to Krishna who is pandit then Bhagavan Krishna speaking that uh, who is all the time not at all busy in all the material enjoyments and whatever kind of uh, bondage he can get in this material life he is not at all busy in that and what is the actual uh, uh, solution of getting out of the bondage he knows the actual solution of that he is actually sadhu Bandha Mokshavit means that whatever kind of it, there, there it is bondage here this uh, pathway we can go out of bondage whether other kind of people are not at all pandit at all so whatever be the case that in all the Gita the actual instruction after giving all the instructions of the Gita Bhagwan Shri Krishna is speaking to Arjun and asking one question to Arjun that with full mercy with full merciful plans on Arjun that uh, he is he's distributing his whole mercy like uh, that uh, Krishna is on uh, the chariot and Arjun is also on the chariot with Krishna and the horse uh, rope is there in the hand of Arjun and it is inside the heart of every jiva Krishna is there like a chariot inside the heart of everyone and Jivatma is also there and uh, Krishna is actually making that chariot run in the same but the influence of my is so much that Nobody wants to hear this all Tattva Siddhanta at all. All kind of Gita, the actual Gita Upadesh 
in the last uh, the actual question of krishna is to arjun that have you heard it in a right manner or not to arjun have you heard this what i have told you that whatever kind of instructions i have given you whatever kind of, of questions and logic and arguments it is there inside you or not now or still it is there this arjun arjun actually speaking to bhagwan प्रसाद मीन्स प्रसाद मीन्स कृपा द नेट प्रॉफिट यू आर गेटिंग आउट ऑफ दैट नष्टोष में दैट आर नाउ एंड स्टेबल नाउ आई हैव गॉट द स्टेबिलिटी दैट ऑन इन डाउन माई फीट दैट काइंड ऑफ सैंड इज एक्चुअली स्टेबल नाउ up till the point that uh, logic and arguments are there inside you then it is very difficult to understand the actual siddhant of gita because in gita it is written bhagwan ka naam the name dham parikar vaishishta of bhagwan dham everything of bhagwan in any vishay in paramans vishay this is actually different thing in the spiritual pathway if some kind of question is still there inside your heart that automatically immediately you have to by pure guru vaishnav you just need to make the solution out of that if some logic and arguments and still some problem is there inside your heart you will just uh, free it like that then in the later stage the actual uh, uh, result will be very bad why because this kind of questions logic and arguments what you are getting in your mind maybe next day this kind of our logics and arguments it will be just increasing exponentially like 10 times 20 times 30 times and it will just take the vitals of all your spiritual life and that's why any how whatever kind of logic and arguments or problems you are having regarding about vaishnav naam dham and whatever kind of shastras problem you are having then you just need to make sure that you need to find the solution from pure guru vaishnav if you are not finding the solution then you are not at all getting the actual mangal also who so ever having this kind of logics and arguments inside his heart then if he is not at all making a solution also also out of that then he can't get out of this kind of logic and arguments and problems at all so arjun actually speaking to that after the gita upadesh getting over arjun speaking to that what kind of false ego i is actually destroyed krishna he is speaking to krishna and shruti labdha means that vishruti vishruti means that his linkage that the previous link if it is actually getting disconnected that rationality is all rationality is going to get destroyed like to vishana punsham sangasthe subhajayate sangyat sangyat kam kamat krodo vijayate उट who is having that don't have that kind of connection with the previous parampara is some disconnection is there then he cannot speak hari katha because the previous connection is not at all there with parampara then if guru krishna vishnu kripa is not there then whatever kind of vachan he is speaking is all scattered it is all disconnected there is no symmetry there no stability is there he is speaking this that that's it so this kind of stability if he wants then it is not at all normal and ordinary situation just like name fame position uh, profit and loss it's not kind that kind of smriti that smriti is that linkage by which we can get the actual connection with pure guru vaishnav and bhagwan and that kind of sambandh we can get uh, attached with pure guru vaishnav smriti labdha bhai because arjun actually has told us uh, arjun has already told us that uh, we it's good that i sh- i can do bhiksha but still i don't want to do fight at all wow, how i can fight 
that all my father mother grand daughter grand son everyone is there how i can actually kill them it is actually adharm but just by having one uh, when uh, when bhagwan krishna is speaking in a very loud voice then uh, uh, the ghost of the arjun just getting out of him and then bhagwan speaking to him as you see arjun that this is not at all good for you at all arjun by thinking you are actually cleave you are not male nor female why actually speaking cleave he is actually to his friend just in order to make him surprised and that kind of very deep vichar is there in this why actually krishna speaking cleave there he can speak an other kind of uh, uh, other kind of thing to arjun definitely the vichar of krishna is actually fixed if there is one reason behind that why he is speaking cleave to arjun is that maybe krishna wants to speak to him that you see if you actually st- a human being you are actual uh, a male you are actually not male not female if you are a male then definitely if you are an actual male then definitely inside you how it is possible this kind of bhav can come if you are actually male then it is actually possible for you to stay in this position but you are not at all male nor female you are in between that in this if you are if you are some in taking the form of some female still you can just take two to four children in your lap you can just take two to four children in your womb it is not at all possible for you you can just take that out it is not at all possible you are not at all cleave you are not at, that you will not come on the on the battlefield and will fight with them that you are actually just going away from your actual duties if you are actually actual male member then you can do that otherwise you can just give two to four uh, uh, children you can just give birth to them and you both both of them you don't have anything in between that you are that's why bhagwan krishna speaking to arjun like this cleave bhagwan krishna speaking to arjun and at last all kind of when uh, gita upadesh already got uh, over that then arjun actually accepted that that okay that now i am actually stable that the kind of which are i have already established inside my heart what you told that whatever kind of uh, logic and interpretation was there inside my mind it is actually getting totally destroyed from my mind now and now i have got it what you told previously he told that when he just gone slowly steadily and at the last the restlessness was there inside his heart his whole body just getting uh, shivered when who is there on the battlefield just by seeing that what is the actual result arjun getting he is actually seeing that in front of him and his body just got shivered by the fear and then arjun actually speaking to bhagwan that you see that uh, you just give me the instruction you give me the actual instruction i am not at all understanding what to do in this condition it means that you give me the actual instructions and uh, i am actually prapann i am actually sharanagat but uh, sh- those were sharanagat that in bhagavad it's already told that like we are getting the diksha in the same way i am going not getting sharnagat like my gurudev that the actual kind of sharnagati if i am getting sharnagat uh, before only then no problem will be there at all everything is getting solved but those who are sharnagat they are this is not at all a very straight pathway the diksha which you are getting from that uh, gurudev and you are making the vichar of taking diksha from some gurudev rupa goswami was speaking tasmat kishta diksha di shiksha first you just need to from inside or your heart you have to accept the guru and after that you have to pray to gurudev with full uh, patience and full humble mood that you give me diksha at all at all if some question of accepting guru is there guru padashray that in guru charan lotus feet of gurudev that you just need to surrender your heart onto his lotus feet 
padashray means that ashray means it doesn't mean that you will be taking ashray today and you will be kicking it tomorrow just that your interest is getting solved and after that you are kicking the guru it's not like that adav pur par ashray means that whole which are with your whole mind and body that all consciousness you don't have any kind of pathway open in front of you only your guru charan is there that's it that kind of vichar if you are making that with full fixed mind you just need to take diksha after that that tatkalik ashray is not like that temporary ashray just like a refugee from bangladesh we are coming after the war will be going to over we will be going back this is sharnarthi this is not sharnagati they are actually sharnarthi when the war will be actually when the war condition is going to get over they will be just going from india so this is actually sharnarthi this is tatkalik temporary uh, uh, temporary surrender in the office and uh, court also under the guidance of big boss they are actually doing their work but it's not like that all kind of uh, submission process that sharnapati in this material world what you are seeing that female actually on to lotus feet of husband she is actually getting sharnapati all actually tatkalik temporary this is all tatkalik in nature just by taking the temporary refuge this is of no use at all but still this sharnapati what it is there this this is actually sharnapati the diksha what you what actually written that actual sharnapati when you are getting onto lotus feet of gurudev then everything is solved atma sam means that he will be just showing his sachidanand swarup why because on material platform that kind of uh, uh, spiritual uh, bhajan is not at all possible that because guru vishnu bhagwan are on a spiritual platform and we are on the material platform so it is not possible to do hari bhajan at all it means that first you need to understand the glorification of guru lotus feet of gurudev and from inside the heart you just need to uh, take the acceptance of the guru charan and after that you can just make the decision of taking diksha first you just need to make your atma surrender onto lotus feet of gurudev prabhupada also speaking the same go prabhupada actually surrender onto gor kishor das babu after that 17 times when he's got a failure of getting the diksha then prabhupada speaking that i will be just destroying my life and i'll be just uh, jumping in the ganga and i'll uh, be just leaving my body after that the gor kishor das babu jana speaking that you just come i'll give you diksha so it means that first you need to surrender from body speech and mind with your gurudev and what kind of uh, par- parikriya of diksha what we are seeing that uh, what is diksha we cannot understand at all first we need to understand what is actual diksha that krishna diksha and the actual instruction is instruction will come afterwards first submission is very much important अर्जुन नाउ he is actually there uh, by speaking swami swami mantam prabanna and inside his heart some kind of logic and argument some problem is there confliction of mind he is not at all getting the solution of his conflicting mind at all how you can speak like that are son also has got uh, uh, got a birth very before and now you are actually taking birth after but this kind of confliction of mind all the time going on this is also arrangement of bhagwan if he not at all putting the questions then how we can get the actual updesh of gita in front of us this actually is told in bhagavad ji mahapuran in gita all kind of uh, this all samdarshan is already there actually mention in each and every point fr- that he is getting the darshan of parmatma this which are in this which are is actually fixed that is called actual pandit 
in this material world what kind of sanskrit or some he is getting the actual uh, uh, vidyata in sanskrit he is not at all pandit at all he is a scholar in uh, sanskrit or something he is not at all actual pandit he is, has no realization at all and bhagwan is actually also speaking in all the sarvabhut i uh, you just need to take my darshan in the sixth number in sixth number adhyay it is written that that who is actually seeing somewhere anywhere he is seeing he is actually seeing he is taking my darshan there everywhere wherever he is seeing it means that wherever in whatever position he is actually putting his eyes all the time each and every place and every time and place he is actually taking the darshan of the existence of prabhu everywhere and in all the in all the things he is seeing me inside them and he is seeing me inside every object and this is not a normal thing to see that he is taking uh, that uh, friend prophet and loss prophet and loss friend and foes enemies it is he is seeing all the same it is very is to do to give pravachan on this very easy a very wide pravachan is very easy to give but in order to get practically pratishthit in this is very much difficult to get at all very very difficult those who haven't got the actual nectar in their life how they can uh, understand this how this kind of uh, uh, restlessness can go off it is not possible and in gita if this whole uh, gita pravachan that uh, he has the jeev has to go on to the pathway of shar- sharnapati and then just need to give the actual uh, nectar of bhakti if he'll just get the nectar of bhakti once then only the taste of bhakti will get that what kind of restlessness and what are kind of logic arguments who will actually destroy that you will go to the market to go to the internet you will get the solution of your problem you just show me if you get the actual solution of the problems if the internet is already there in the market you can go there you have lot of money also you can go on the on the internet cafe and you can do bhajan like this you tell me only and only only and only those tatvaid who go in the front of a realized sadhu if you can go and can hear his hari katha and whatever kind of characteristics and qualities you can get out of him that all kind of solutions will come out of that automatically and all problems will go off that enemy foes profit and loss everything he'll be seeing one and the same he is actually seeing profit and loss one and the same it's not an ordinary thing at all the gita the actual instructions of krishna to arjun in bhagavad gita this actually very very uh, it is that his uh, krishna's heart is getting melted and in order to teach arjun just like on the platform of a bonded jiva he is putting arjun on that and is just giving him the whole solution how to get out of this problem and it looks like that this kind of condition of arjun the heart of krishna is actually getting melted by seeing the situation of this situation of arjun like the case in this whole material world this whole material world is in this problem only their situation is like this and whatever kind of uh, bond bondage the bonded jivas are having the sadhus heart are getting melted just by seeing the bonded condition of a bonded soul their heart is just getting melted and they are feeling very much pain inside their heart all kind of gita one and each uh, uh, instruction in gita is very much uh, full of nectar and full of madhur it will touch your heart it will definitely touch your heart all these instructions of gita like the case for a devotee the the heart of bhagwan is getting melted just by seeing the heart of uh, arjun that whatever kind of uh, problem or disease he is having in order to remove that disease from his heart bhagwan he has actually pratigya bad he definitely i am going to release him from this bondage and i will be just instructing him on the actual pathway 
that is the actual vichar of krishna that our life the actual target of our life is it is not at all good at all that lot of uh, reasons are there for our uh, distress and sorrow in this material world if we can got happiness and can get peacefulness in our life that it is not at all possible how it is possible that we will get only the actual target of our life it is not at all stable at all that our target uh, that what is our actual uh, it's all the time actually getting unstable it is all the time changing like ravindranath tagore speaking in the kirtan it's just like one laughing stroke that what i want in life that i am not at all getting that with that just by a chance i am asking and what i am getting after that and i am getting lot of distress after that uh, in that what i have asked you and after that i am getting the solution or how to get out of the distress what i have i have already gone in my life no no i don't want it at all no i don't want are and uh, after that just like a uh, deaf dumb if on a on a dumb ass you will be just putting a lot of uh, lot of heavy now then he will be actually thinking oh now it is good because he is getting lot of burden on his back this situation should be there all the time that ob- particular object that particular object in order to get that what kind of uh, kind of uh, just by getting that act, uh, particular object you don't want any kind of uh, profit out of that and uh, you don't require any kind of profit out of that object that should be the actual goal of your life just you have seen this no the actual thing when he is already realized that and after seeing that still the same condition is there what to do so in this our heart he is not at all getting attracted at all and he is not at all feeling stable at all that what after getting in your life the other kind of uh, other sang and profit or loss it cannot do any harm to that that is the actual thing when they will get when he is getting uh, uh, stabilized in that particular position that when he is getting pratishtit in tattva gyan that is the actual uh, profit in the life when after getting the actual stable whatever kind of uh, uh, distress or sorrow of this material life you are having then you will not it will not touch your heart at all by that only that kind of uh, situation of your heart it will just get steady up and no and it will get a very steadiness in your heart which allate means which allate it will not get unstable at all it, which allate mean to get unstable that will get steadiness when you will get sharnagat onto lotus feet of your guru vishnu and what after getting in your life you don't need anything in your life after achieving that prapti that achieving that uh, particular object in your life lot of things are there in your life to get uh, achieved it means that what you actually achieve in your life there is no restlessness or uh, unsteadiness in your life that is called the actual treasure that is called that is the actual laksha vastu means that actual targeted that should be the actual target object for us to get in our life that uh, our target in our life that what is our actual target in our life that laksha vastu it is actually unstable that's why whatever kind of uh, restlessness we are actually getting that that is the actual reason behind this only no stability is there at all that in our life we don't have any settlement or stability in our life at all today we need this tomorrow we need this and after that after getting this when we are actually questioning why we are actually getting this so this is a very big point like atmadev ji maharaj that he definitely knows 
that you see that uh, from your up till seven life you will not be getting and beget any child no no definitely i need child if you will not give child and he is speaking to sanyasi to a sadhu then i will be just uh, in front of you i'll get uh, uh, i'll be doing suicide are you stop 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 wait then that uh, that sadhu just when he got the child atmadev then he is speaking why i have got the child <laughs> so you see the condition he already got the child but when a lot of problems just came then he is speaking that oh maharaj why i got the child so whatever the case you see so that's why all kind of material desires in order to get rid out of that just need to stay away from this you just need to make sure that you are you just need to uh, stay away from that all kinds of material desires normally in order to bring uh, guru vishnu and bhagwan in front of us with full devotion no with normal and uh, uh, normal characteristic natural be- behavioral uh, characteristic that is the actual updesh of gita a uh, lot of questions are there of arjun are from where all this kind of uh, sinful activities we are actually trying to do that from where all these kind of uh, sinful activities we are doing automatically it comes inside our heart purusha means that this kind of male and female it is not like that purusha means jeevatma this body is it is pur it is not purusha this is just one kind of temple this is one just kind of temple when this jeevatma is there inside that that atma jeevatma inside this body it's residing there in jeevatma they are inside this body only that's why it is called purusha purete he basati iti purusha that mother male female whatever uh, be the case inside the material body that atma is there jeevatma particular jeevatma is there that is called purusha arjun actually speaking that by which that jeevatma is getting uh, the actual uh, uh, unsteadiness and he is getting acceleration inside his heart that he has to do the sinful activities and that kind of doership mood or false ego inside the heart of the purush is actually getting imbibed and that i am the doer he is actually getting pratishthit in that that is actually called purushakar in the shastras it is told purushakar purushakar means that it is not like that purush that on our on our purush we are actually having this kind of false ego that kind of uh, uh, we are actually full faith on our own uh, uh, power by this we are doing that that i am the doer this is called purushakar that that kind of doership false doership is there that i am the doer it is by which reason it is there inside the heart of that particular jeevatma how he is actually doing sinful activities on the basis of that doership who is actually giving uh, this kind of uh, inhibition inside it heart to do this kind of sinful activity if uh, th- it looks like that some kind of unknown force is actually putting that jeevatma to do that particular uh, thing forcefully from where actually is that un- un- unknown force actually is just uh, giving him the actual acceleration to do it just acting like a catalyst he is actually not at all having this kind of uh, uh, desire to do the sinful activity but someone actually unknown force is actually giving him the actual catalyst like act- acting as a catalyst to give him acceleration to do those kind of sinful activities from some kind of power is actually putting that in force that uh, is g- giving them the actual uh, acceleration to do that kind of sinful activities so this is uh, very much uh, uh, difficult to understand and very much surprised to understand this point that all those jivas that inside their heart that kind of antarmukhi darshan that jivatma they are actually not at all uh, uh, getting the tattva siddhant that antarmukhi and external and internal darshan darshan of two types external darshan by taking that that he is all the time uh, having attraction for external objects and by his internal uh, darshan that by his internal darshan he actually used to find the actual uh, atma maybe today or tomorrow by the actual kripa of guru vishnu you can understand this point definitely that that inside uh, that 
internal darshan having that that is called the actual vidya and avidya concept conception is actually applicable there vidya is there and avidya is also there from infinity times according to according to the situation that kind of condition can get arised aroused in in our life that according to his previous sanskar he is actually accepting the he is actually just hiding the vidya and avidya is getting exponentially rise in our life this is actually the question of arjun that he is actually no desire is there but what unknown force is there which is imbibing me forcefully to do the sinful activities there are actually only one reason behind this that krishna actually giving answer regarding this to arjun enam means definitely this is for whole material world you are thinking that whole world is your enemy but externally there is no enemy at all it is there inside our heart only the any actual enemy you just need to put that out of your uh, internal body in fine form the actual enemy is there that is the actual enemy in internally it is there externally no one is actually an enemy that is the actual internal enemy who is all the time actually putting you in trouble kaam krodh lobh moh all these are different enemies inside you who are putting you all the time in trouble which is actually getting uh, uh, discovered from rajogun the doership that kind of doership bhav is there that i am the doer so this should get totally destroyed and if uh, doership bhav is there then definitely along with that that i am the actual enjoyer i am actually just uh, not at all doing that so this kind of doership bhav if it is there then definitely along with that that kind of ev- enjoyment that i am the enjoyer of everything that will also that conception will also come that i am a big tyagi i am yogi i am viragi this kind of conception will come in that so this is a very uh, topmost reason that why we are actually because of that whole material world we can see that each and every jeevatma is going on an uh, opposite direction nobody is actually want to hear the actual thing out of this nobody is there to everyone wants to go on to the opposite direction oh yes that is okay they are thinking because their work is like that only what to do that whole material world is going on the opposite direction nobody wants to hear all this tat siddhant at all and in this gita pravachan at last that last upadesh of gita pravachan if someone we will just get established in that then definitely all problem solutions of the problem can come in the antim upadesh of gita in that bhagavad dharma is actually going to start from that from where actually give gita upadesh getting over from their bhagavad dharma it is actually getting started there is entrance of bhagavad dharma that the actual open declar- declaration of bhagwan bhagwan actually speaking openly that you see that whatever kind of pap sinful activities or pious activities pious deeds are more dangerous are why maharaj pious deeds are dangerous yes it is more dangerous why narottam das thakur mahashay already speaking this point that you see that by the pious deeds you don't need to i am not at all ready to hear the pious deeds at all why because by heavy pious deeds are more dangerous are maharaj pious deeds are good no it's good but it is good for you but those who are actually doing bhajan but for a child it is good for a child everything is good for child what not is good fire also is good he is actually putting his hand in fire for child everything is good you see narottam das thakur speaking that you see that pious deeds you are getting the treasure of pious deeds still that by those actual happiness it will just put us in bondage are yes that kind of happiness from getting from the pious deeds 
it will result in our uh, material bondage that we can get more and more into bonded condition that by that enjoyment we'll be getting more into bonded condition and that kind of happiness just by getting that slowly steadily slowly steadily if some kind of uh, practice of uh, tapasya that will also we will we will lo- lose that it's better that we don't need anything at all for a sodo a normal situation what uh, krishna is actually arranging if hot krishna is giving then still he is actually uh, going to if so krishna actually giving him hot that you have to um, bear this hot then definitely we have to bear that so whatever actually given by krishna we have to accept that everything we just need to bear if uh, uh, some bhagwan is giving you more hot then you just need to bear that in one prastavastha in sanyas what all is written for brahmacharis what all is written it is where written lot of things are written for a brahmachari and sanyasi if you it is all just for patience oh i don't need hot i need some coolness no it's not like that you just need to bear that so this by that uh, pious deeds whatever kind of material happiness we are getting this kind of happiness what you are getting at last it's definitely gonna put me in danger and it gonna destroy my actual consciousness my seva mood and whatever kind of patience or uh, total bearness inside my heart it definitely gonna destroy completely just by getting more and more happiness material happiness from where i will fall down i can't uh, find a way in that at all so whosoever getting more and more material happiness definitely that material happiness gonna put him in more bonded condition whosoever is getting more and more uh, material happiness definitely he is getting uh, satisfaction because he not got actual satisfaction from this material happiness in this no steadiness and no peacefulness is there at all it this object is just like that that how it will increase definitely our consciousness will get decreased so this will just uh, give more and more greediness inside your heart for material happiness so this kind of material happiness if you want this in this material world there is no uh, trikalya astitva no no background is there of this it is coming in our uh, life because we are in the bonded condition that's why and we are feeling more pleasure in it but this is not an actual pleasure this is this is tatkalik pleasure that this kind of happiness and distress or sorrow there is no actually permanent uh, past present and future in that background it no background is there in regard to past present and future at all whatever kind of happiness you are getting now definitely it will get this sorrow for you and what is actually sorrow for you to, next day it will become happiness maybe it is happiness for you but other for others it is become sorrowful and whatever uh, is actually sorrow for you is becoming happiness for them so who is actually living in minus 20 degrees the who is taking birth in minus 20 degrees then if you is taking him into rajasthan oh it's very hot for him it is hot but for the other person living in rajasthan it is good for him so he will be this is the kind of condition and here normally were just if he is going to the minus 20 degree oh maharaj i can't stay it is actually becoming uh, sorrowful for him to stay in minus 20 so that is the condition so like this for us what is actually happiness for us you are it is actually sorrow for you and what is actually sorrowful for you it is happiness for others it will it is varies from man to man because of your previous sanskar this kind of happiness and sorrowfulness this definition is there there is no actual fixed definition of it at all ha i can speak like this in bonded condition in bonded condition that according to your previous sanskar that whatever vishay vastu that we are thinking that it is good that is what we are actually thinking pratikul that is actually sorrowful this i can say there is no fixed definition regarding this at all that happiness and sorrowfulness there is no definition in this apra, in the prakrit jagat transcendental world the definition is there definitely guru vaishnav ka bhagwan and guru vaishnav jo sang hai the association by that if we are going far away that it is very much uh, uh, distress for us this is actually called viraha separation this kind of distress or separation this viraha this is the actual pathway of our uh, association with krishna in this material world what kind of viraha or separation we are feeling that by that 
that that in the transcendental world it will be going very very far away krishna will be going very very far away from us and the, in this transcendental world what is actually very much uh, uh, distress or sorrowful more virhe or separation if it is going more and more inside your heart then definitely that kind of association with krishna you will be possibility will be more it means that in the transcendental world separation should be there if separation is not there then nothing can be done so this is a very important and very topmost point what is the actual happiness that bhakti vrinda thakur already speaking bhakti vrinda thakur giving a very fixed definition that in this aprakrit jagat whatever kind of seva you are doing not that vani seva whatever seva you are doing in that definitely some problem will come some barrier will come that in seva some fighting some barrier not coming it's not at all possible because radharani swayam the group of radharani lalita vishaka also they are having that kind of problems so in our vani seva is some kind of problem or barrier is coming it can be done because without that vani seva is uh, not possible all can give different kind of uh, uh, comments on us but what to do that for your seva whatever kind of uh, distress or sorrowfulness sorrow i am getting whatever kind of uh, distress i am getting it is actually all happiness for me that is called the actual happiness in seva that is called happiness in seva that happiness in seva for bonded jiva how they can get that this is actually they don't know what is actually seva what kind of seva it is they don't know at all what is actually seva yesterday i was actually speaking that in this material world this vichar is there of this material world is that that whatever kind of uh, karm you are doing or whatever kind the other uh, other karm will get uh, get away from you this is the actual uh, truth of this uh, material life this is the actual history of this material life that if you will try to perform one duty the other duty you won't be able to do at all the both the duties you can't perform at at the same time it is not at all possible in this material world that uh, this karma there is one speed in which human being that this is the actual uh, land of karma sorry and in this uh, there is there is one uh, karma bhumi and there is rasa bhumi in the transcendental world if you are applying this formula then you will be that is become that will become top most excellent that karma bhumi and why actually karma should be there in order to get rasa in order to get the topmost happiness from that rasa that's why in this human human being life there is one karma bhumi and other other bhumi is rasa bhumi if rasa is not there nobody can stay without rasa everyone needs everyone needs everyone needs rasa by that the jeevas are getting anand and is getting uh, full enjoyment by jumping with full anand whether it is material anand or whether it is transcendental anand whatever kind of anand it is that it is a full source of anand is that krishna only this rasa that is the actual source krishna is the actual source of that rasa by which whole material world by taking that rasa from that they are actually getting that uh, liveliness in them that they can uh, live more and more they are getting this kind of desire to live more if they don't have the desire to live more if no ras is there then how they can uh, have the desire to live so that's why ras in that definitely some calm is there in this material life even in mosquito also he is actually if he is not at all desiring rasa then he will he will be just drinking new new blood from the body of the new new persons so this is the rasa only in each and every jiva that kind of desire of living long or that rasa is there if ras is not there then how he will live if without without ras nobody has that desire to live at all who can just uh, manifest that uh, desire to live more nobody wants to uh, live without rasa at all that the one scientist of german his name is uh, his name is kent i think yes that kent has just uh, given two questions two to three two uh, things he has manifested in front of us that what kind of vichar our rishi munis have just told he has not gone up till that level but still his vichar is good you just hear this what i am going to speak about kent kent has openly spoke speaking that inside my heart 
inside my heart there are two kind of very dangerous fear fear fearfulness is there first is that for what purpose i am getting fear that maharaj that if i am just seeing on the in the night time i am seeing the open sky there i am seeing countless stars oh my god what it is actually and from where i am and what i am it is just one if you are just doing a comparative statement regarding this then you can just get that which is very much difficult because that our actual existence that our actual existence where it is in this infinity brahmand with respect to this infinity world where is our uh, this bonded jeeva this also the one darshan is there in the upanishads regarding this in this which are in getting into this which are because jiva is so much infinitesimal and you see the actual desire of the jiva that he is the doer so much so much infinitesimal small even he can't imagine just a, a open field also having existence but this atman is so much small that you see his ego oh we will see you see the doership mood false ego i will do that okay you want to do you do the kent actually speaking that when i am seeing the open sky in the night time they are actually becoming so much surprised and amazed oh what it is who has actually made this all and who i am actually this question is actually coming inside me so it's very infinitesimal this jiva is this jiva what in this infinity brahmand what is the actual existence of that uh, uh, brahmand nayak and what is my existence in this material world to so wait what is my existence after this birth from after that where i will go where i will go after my death when i leave my body who i am actually and another thing is there that kent speaking that you see when if you are doing some wrong activity which is not at all good to perform this is not ethical to perform and this kind of work you are doing immediately uh, without knowingly unknowingly you are doing that and this formula you this you are applying that i have already some kind of pap pap sinful activity they have decreased after that from inside someone actually speaking hey why you have done this like this it is coming from inside the heart who actually speaking this kind of uh, 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 talking to us i don't know that some kind of moral moral dialogue is coming from inside our heart who is why you have done this like this ha huh? what why you have done like this who is actually speaking from our inside our heart that i have done a very sinful activity i should not have performed that and from inside that some response is coming why you have done this ha huh? what is the reason so actually so these do in both these points that uh, i am actually thinking all the time that is the topmost thing in the gita also there actually this solution is there regarding this and another thing is there about which in order to understand you will not at all getting any difficulty to understand if you are actually have getting the correct vichar out of that can't actually speaking you see that in this infinity brahmand this is in this what is the actual center point of this infinity brahmand i think that definitely some center point must be there of this infinity brahmand some original source is definitely there some original point or source is there and from there a whole world is actually getting controlled i am actually speaking in a correct way 100% it is sure that definitely it is there einstein from einstein everyone actually speaking this point yes correctly tolstoy every scientist they are actually speaking the same point but from that there is very much more surprising thing that kent has already discovered that i can't speak it rightly but i think so that i am thinking this that this infinity brahmand cosmic manifestation its center point definitely must be there and and what is my center point definitely it is all the same this is excellent vichar what he is speaking definitely he is speaking excellent definitely he is speaking correct this infinity brahmand what is the center point of this infinity brahmand and my center point of this life is all the same there is no difference in that it looks like it's the same that rishi mun is speaking no 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 it's not uh, abbreviation it is just definitely it's a uh, 
fixed point that for that point in order to understand that you just need to read Gita for infinity brahmand that center point of that infinity brahmand if i can coincide that center point of mine with my center point it, if if it get coincide then all kind of problems will get solved that kurukshetra war is actually getting over every kind of problem is over after that so this in order to this is we have to understand this point very correctly when we will be thinking that our center point with the infinity brahmand center point when it will get coincide with that then we will be able to coincide with that then definitely our life will get uh, topmost it will become seva mai but this is actually get it is impossible to get but still it is possible it is impossible it is next to impossible but still it is possible how it is possible how how it is not possible definitely it is possible from this point in order to prove that krishna speaking to arjun that you who are actually you to kill that you are thinking yourself that you are actually going to fight in the kurukshetra war you want to kill everyone you are thinking yourself ha eh? that you will uh, you are only thinking this only no that you are a very big fighter ha eh? you are a big hero and you are a big fighter you are a big warrior and you will kill everyone on the fighting field on the battlefield this is your actual fault this is your actual fault that you are the doer that yes i am doing this actually just see with your eyes i am doing everything with that from pitamaha from a different different kind of all karna etc trona jara everyone i have already killed them you see i have already killed them who are you actually to kill ha huh? who are actually you to kill this kind of doership mood false ego is there who are who are you actually i am actually killing everyone are you really so yes are what really so definitely i have already killed them you see you are just one kind of one instrument i am actually making nimittuma i am you are just an instrument that's it cause and effect is what cause and effect i have already told you no agar mool ka nahi hai in that actual mool karan when how it it can come again that water if you will be just uh, uh, churning the water you can get uh, butter out of that by churning water not possible but when you are churning milk definitely in whatever what things with that propensity is not at all there that potency which is not there how it can give in the jeevas that kind of bhakti potency is definitely there that just be churning that slowly steadily you can understand just slowly steadily under the guidance of pure guru vishnu just go on hearing the vichar your vichar will definitely get diverted and your whole darshan will get diverted definitely it will done you will get satsang in your life and you just need to uh, destroy a satsang from your life you just need to destroy a satsang not even smell of a satsang should be there satsang should be there a satsang should be there it is not at all possible you will not at all get, uh, getting uh, uh, absolute completeness in your darshan you will not at all get uh, absolute completeness in your darshan it is already written in chaitanya charitamrita but it is not like that at a satsang i am not doing okay after prabhu was speaking this that if you are actually destroying a satsang then definitely you have taken a satsang or not this is, it doesn't mean that you are not be taking a satsang you have to take the association of the pure guru vishnu you have to take satsang then only uh, a destruction of the satsang is useful for you when you are destroying a satsang it means that definitely you have to make up satsang otherwise you will become mayavadi if you will not to go go for satsang you will become mayavadi this is actually think by speaking is very easy but def- not at all not at all even my father is also asat still i don't have any link with him externally okay he i have the link with him with him because uh, all kind of fighting it is not at all good to just fight with them and just to kick him so that we have to balance our own bhajan but from inside our heart we don't have any link with our external father externally where you will go but from inside your heart if you will do association with your father then attachment will be then your bhajan is totally gone definitely not at all do not do a satsang it is not at all good to do a satsang at all bad association is not at all not not to be done 
by that our all kind of things are getting destroyed all consciousness is destroyed that we are getting destruction in our life and Adhapath means that I will definitely be destroying my consciousness and going to hell after that. The actual intelligence is in that, that all the time continuously, like Vaman Goswami, Vaman Goswami Mara used to speak, that you are actually in a normal kind of vishay, you are wasting your time all the time. That uh, topmost deep tat siddhant, you just need to uh, observe and analyze all the time. Slowly, steadily, you have to increase your consciousness. You have to take your darshan up to that level. You have to purify your darshan level. You have to purify your darshan. Purify your darshan. Not like stool and urine darshan you should have at all. You have to quit that kind of darshan. You have to purify your darshan. If so, so much purity you need in your darshan, so that... In that, you can get the actual uh, Radha Vinod Viharis and the lotus feet of uh, Go, Guru Gaurang. You can get, you can understand the actual uh, beauty of the transcendental lotus feet of Guru Varga and uh, Gaurang. And just by removing uh, a satsang, you he is actually just, uh, he will become Mayavadi if he is not at all doing satsang at all. Prabhupada speaking, okay, if you have just left a satsang, what you are doing after that? You are doing something or not? If you have already just uh, removed a satsang from your life, then definitely you have to take up satsang. If you, if you will not do, then everything is gone from your life. You will become Mayavadi. Like Shankarji, Bhagavan, Naraji, etc. They are also speaking that we also want association of pure devotees. Are you are. Why you are going? Definitely Shankar Bhagavan and Naraji, they are all Paramhans. They are actually also wanting. And if you are actually just associating with sadhu for a fraction of a second, that is also associ- association of sadhu, no? This is actually association only, real sadhu association. This is not a normal thing to speak. That all kind of six, all kind of teachings of siksha ashtakam, siksha ashtak, that the teachings of siksha ashtakam, whatever kind of moral teaching, uh, transcendental teachings are there. Upadesh Amrit is already actually, we are getting the gist in that. All things we are getting in that, in total. The Shad Goswamis, whatever kind of, that whatever kind of Vishwana Chakravarti part, who, all the Goswamis which are there, that their actual, uh, uh, actual commentary on the Shastras, they have just either based on the basis of their realization in their whole life, the, the realization is there by the Kripa of Krishna and the actual realization of Shastra, it is actually, Gurudev has just given me the topmost fixed position of the Shastras inside my heart. That kind of things we have to see all the time and slowly steadily we will be just getting out of this material world. Prabhupada actually speaking regarding this, that Bhaktivinoda Thakurji has given me everything, what not Bhaktivinoda Thakur has given me. Only my work is that I have to take it and just need to observe it under guidance of pure Guru Vaishnava. Vaman Goswami Maharaj always used to speak that if some person according to his own desire he want to uh, speak about the Tattva Siddhant, at that time Vaman Goswami Maharaj used to speak Sharapali. I am actually speaking one point to his disciple Vaman Goswami Maharaj speaking that I am speaking a very nice point to you, whatever is the case. Every, everything is Bhakti Thakur and Guru Varga. They have given us everything in our life. That if we have this kind of courage, we could, can't show our individual courage. We don't have, can't show us, show our individual courage. That I will be doing this commentary. Are from where you have done commentary, Maharaj? What kind of commentary you have written? Huh? Now you are an important personality, although definitely everyone will be believing you. So what to do in that? Huh? So Vaman Goswami Maharaj always used to speak that that whole every Bhakti Thakur and Prabhupada has given us everything. But we just need to observe those things and we have to do Guru Anugatya and all the time we just to, need to observe and uh, do that in your Acharan. That's it. We don't need anything apart from that. In order to just uh, manifest himself that whatever kind of uh, uh, whatever kind of uh, uh, 
techniques you are applying everything bhagwan is watching so you don't need to apply all those that you you are don't need to show that you are rupa nugraha nuga bhajan that for a new conception i can't give you at all this is all wrong darshan and wrong conception from where i can give this is one factory of darshan that it so how it is possible to do rupa nugraha nuga bhajan so those who are actually falling at the percentage of the pathway of the parampara if they are falling that for them there is no for each and everything they will get in their life who are actually 100% following the parampara channel of bhakti vinod dhara so like this by slowly steadily having this vichar we are gita ka jo that gita's the last in the last shlok how actually it is applicable this that is the topmost application field what you can find the shloka you can find that the last what is the topmost application of this that practically i will i can see that that inside vrindavan that gopikas that bhav of the gopikas are there that is the topmost application of this last shloka of gita but here actually it is the battlefield here actually is battlefield no that whole whole world is actually thinking that are kurukshetra war is going to start is already started arjun actually speaking are sangram the actual fighting the actual fight is at that time at that point is going to start but the actual instruction what i got from krishna at that point that my friend has given me so much instruction of gita now i am getting realization of that that time i have just understood a very little bit but now i have getting practical realization arjun speaking now that my friend hari my friend hari that bhagwan krishna is not at all parat parakileshwar he is not at all there in, on this material world he has actually just cheated me and gone away left me ekdam final point par the and the actual basis of the sangram of the final point what kind of instruction top most golden uh, instructions what uh, krishna has given to me that i am speaking externally yes i have heard yes i have understood but whatever kind of instruction he has given me that all now actually i am getting pra- practical realization in my practical realization i am getting that in total in total and now i can realize this yes that what is actually gita now i can realize it and uh, now actually i am realizing that what is the, what gita is actually just by crying crying loudly arjun speaking this when in our life that we are not at all getting a big kick in our life that which will just destroy our false ego completely only then it will just sit inside our heart otherwise it will not stay at all that kind of false ego definitely not going to leave you at all it will that i he is speaking that he is actually hearing hari katha but in get practical realization is not at all possible when whenever he is not at all getting sharnapati when he is not at all getting siddhin sharnapati it is not at all possible to get uh, it uh, successful in his life when sharnapati is not at all there in our life then nothing can be done at all so this is actual golden upadesh in our life and uh, we don't uh, by not taking too much time today i have to just uh, that uh, short pravachan i have to just give rest today सर्वधर्मा परत्यज मेक शरण भज अहम तम सर्वपापीभ्यो मोक्षयी स्वामी मूच बांछकल्पदुरुष किफा सिंधु पति पावन भो वैष्णवीभ्यो नमो नम